I, I've, I've seen this argument. Uh, to believe in guilt associ by association, you're a leftist. And it means you agree with the left on cancer culture. And that is just the most bizarre thing. I mean, I actually have a smidgen of respect for the left in the sense that they're willing to judge. And yeah, they're willing to cancel people based on their judgment. You hold these views? You believe in that? I don't want to work with you. Fire the, fire the bastard. Is that wrong? Isn't that the way the world should work? I mean, if we didn't have anti-discrimination laws, if we didn't have, uh, what do you call it, false uh, firing, false dismissal laws, and all the massive regulations of employer-employee relationships, wouldn't it work like that if you found out that, a, that one of your employees held ideas that you found despicable, whatever your ideas were, w wouldn't you cancel them? In a sense of fiving them, I would. That's not a leftist thing. Now maybe the left is doing it, and maybe we don't like what they do because of the stupidity of the issues on which they're willing to fire somebody and the hypocrisy that's often involved and just the sheer evil of the ideas that the left advocates for, so we don't like it. But I'm, I, and I've said this, I said this when we talked about cancer culture a while back, I'm all for canceling people. Right now, I'm for canceling Tucker Carlson. I think it would be good for America. I think it would be good for people to cancel Tucker Carlson. He's despicable. He doesn't deserve your attention. He doesn't deserve your money. I mean, I have people unsubscribing and stopping to pay their monthly dues because they disagree with me. They're canceling me. And there's some people on Twitter trying to rally people to cancel me because of my views on Israel, because, you know, objectivists should hate Israel, according to these idiots. Um, Yeah, they have every right to try to cancel me. They disagree with me. <laughs> and you should have a right not to associate. I mean, more than a right. It's your responsibility not to associate with people that do you harm and that hold ideas that are harmful to you. I believe Tucker Carlson is doing America harm. It's doing me harm. It's doing you harm. You shouldn't have anything to do with the guy. As I said, I wouldn't go on a show today. So absolutely, I believe in guilt by association. I think justice demands it. The virtue is justice is treating people the way they deserve. If you associate with Nazis, you should be treated like you associate with Nazis, <laughs> which is badly. That's what you deserve. Because Dealing with Nazis gives support to Nazis. Dealing with racists gives support to racists. Dealing with white supremacists gives support to white supremacists. The world is a worse place. My world, your world, is a worse place if Nazis, white supremacists, anti-Semites, irrationalists, and, and the same is true about the left, Antifa, uh, crazy woke, woke social justice warriors, anybody who supports those causes is making my world worse, is harming me. And when you associate with those people, you are making the world a worse place for me. You are harming me, and I want nothing to do with you. I'm not gonna shoot you, but I want nothing to do with you. And I would view you as guilty by association, absolutely. This is one big reason why you can't form a big tent because there's a lot of guilt by association. And when the associates are truly evil, as some of these people are, you can't be associated with them. You can't. You can't promote evil, even if it's to attack another evil. The left. Now, I told you that uh, Tucker Ross is on a tour right now, and it'll be interesting to see if everybody who has signed up to appear on his show will show up. Well, the answer is, of course, yes. Everybody will show up. 
because nobody believes in guilt by association cult cancer culture on the right. And of course, Tucker Carlson guests are almost all from the right. Nobody's going to criticize her, him. Nobody's going to walk away. Uh, for example, J.D. Vance is going to appear in Carlson speaking to her on September 21st in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And that's moving forward. That's not going to change. Donald Trump Jr., maybe, maybe the, the next heir to the mega leadership, or maybe, maybe it'll be Tucker Carlson in that, um, will also appear on Tucker Carlson's show in Jacksonville, Florida, on, I think, something like the 28th of September. So nobody's going to, you know, Russell Brand is praying with Tucker. Wow, praying with Tucker. Go for it. So these people are guilty by associating with somebody who is uh, uh, sanctioning uh, basically Nazi apologists. Van should be condemned for doing a Tucker Carlson interview. Trump Jr. should be condemned for doing a Tucker Carlson interview. They should be canceled. They should be canceled. I see there are more people I have to um, kick off of this channel. Let me just do that quickly. Um, oh, Neil Khan says, Yuan, I'm saying this again. Thank you for getting me out of the sphere of influence of people like Lauren Chen, Lauren Summer, Tim Pool, Tucker Carlson, and other human trash. I, I, I forgot that I got you out of that sphere, and I'm super happy to have uh, contributed to you escaping that sphere of influence. Um, uh, I, I, I didn't know that I, or it hadn't completely sunk in that that's what I had done. Where is this guy? I saw this guy before that I wanted to uh, cancel from my uh, chat. Anyway, I can't find him now. So we'll do it uh, if he pops his head up again. So there you go. I mean, uh, the, the, the basically, the top people uh, within the Republican Party and uh, within the MAGA universe, while from the one side of their mouth claim to be huge supporters of Israel and love the Jewish community and big supporters of the Jewish community, on the other side of their mouth are basically fine with Tucker Carlson interviewing Nazi apologists and uh, historian revision, historical revisionists who make the Germans and Hitler they're not the good guys, but they're just not as bad as we always were taught and always thought they were. 